So last night I went to switch on my suburban water heater in my trailer and the electric worked for a little while and then stopped working. Uh, luckily it's a dual electric gas so we switched to gas and had hot water last night. So I'm out here today to, to figure out what went wrong. One thing I suspect is down in here we have a on off switch that you switch back and forth. And I noticed when I went to switch that off, it um, seemed a little stiff the other night, or the other morning when we left the last campsite. And I had to really force it, so I believe that switch may have failed. So I'm going to pull that switch out and uh, see what's going on. Inside the trailer, I've switched off the main breaker to the hot water, so... I won't have any any electricity to worry about when I take that switch out. Okay, I got the switch out. Um, to get it out, all there is, is is to pry it out gently. You know, you can use a, a flathead screwdriver or something. It just presses in with these tabs, plastic tabs, when they put it in. So you just have to be gentle so you don't mangle the switch when you get it out. Um, now, I'm just going to test it with my multimeter and put it on ohms mode and when you in the on it should beep for me. So I'll just hook it up and give it a shot. There we are. We're in on mode and nothing. Off mode nothing. And I notice in on mode if I gently touch the switch a little I can actually get it so the switch is actually intermittent must be damaged inside. So, all I have to do is pick up one of those switches and install it, and I'll be good to go. They're a pretty common switch. Should be able to get it at pretty well any electrical type store. So I busted apart the switch, and inside the, the actual contacts don't look too bad. A little bit arced, but what really happened is this plastic piece here melted. I guess it's like a pivot point in the switch because it's melted the, the switch wasn't locking in position properly. Probably what happened I noticed one of the connectors here had looked like it had gotten really hot had poor connection developed on the blade connection here and that heat transferred inside the switch and then melted that plastic piece. So I've cleaned up all those connections and uh, put in a new switch. There we go, I found a replacement switch. Um, I'm here in Mojave, California. If you're ever in this area you need a hardware store. There's one called uh, Carl's Hardware. I think it's carlsdoitbest.com. And man, it's, it's like the old day hardware store. They have just about everything in there. So I got a switch that's able to handle 20 amps. Uh, the element in here I think is a thousand watt element so it'll easily handle that current and it's also a lit switch which will come in handy at night. Uh, it was a little tricky to get it in there because there wasn't a lot of extra wire hanging out there and of course all this propane crap is in the way but like anything RV it's always going to be in the least accessible spot so there you go hot water heater back working I'll go inside and check the current this is another reason I love my Progressive Industries surge protector it has this remote readout panel that tells me voltage and current that the rigs drawing so it's easy to check if the hot water heater elements working again and I, before I turned the hot water circuit back on, um, I checked it and I was, I was running about, I'd say, 8 amps. And now I'm running 18 amps, so that means it's drawing 10 amps, which is just about what it should do.